There are many types of compositions used for landscape art, but for this project, I'm gonna focus specifically on three types of landscape composition. The first one is called the steel yard. It's just kind of another way to say the rule of thirds. It's where you have something big on one side and something smaller on the other side. The positive space on one side balances out the negative space on the other side. You can do whatever you want with the sky. Um, you can use a building there or anything you want for your big thing. The next one is called the compound curve or the S curve. And it's basically just a big S in the middle of your composition. I use a river here, but you can use anything to make that S. You can use land, you can use a road, a path, anything you want. For the third one, um, this one's called a circular composition. This is where you have a large round object where I used a lake in this one in the middle. You can use clouds, you can do like a low horizon line. And in this one, I also made it a radiating composition where the clouds are coming outward. So everything's kind of radiating from the middle. Always think about the rule of thirds when you're doing a composition. You can make things right in the middle and very balanced, and that's totally valid, but you kind of have to know what you're doing when you're doing that. In the rule of thirds, you divide your paper or your canvas up into nine squares, and you basically put the most important things on the intersecting parts. Those can be anything. It can be the cloud. It can be wherever your eye goes. Um, I'll show some more examples and attach some more examples to the project. So for the first part of your project, draw an example of each type of composition and then see which one you like the most. One tip to figure out which one you like the best is to take a photo with your phone and look at it or flip it upside down and then you kind of get a different view of it and you can figure out which one is your favorite. In our next lesson, we'll focus on atmospheric perspective.